up, guys. We first, have... first open beer. First open beer. First, before you say anything rubbish like. Because I'm sure what's coming out of your mouth is going to be nonsense. But just open beer first. So you think I just took verbal diarrhea? Verbatim diarrhea. <laughs> Why are you guys still friends? You know, you know, this is. Is it the beer that keeps you together? <laughs> keep, keep the enemies closer. Yes. <laughs> keep your enemies tight like bums. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what this situation is. So you're tight like bum. We're hey. just keeping enemies close. Don't get twist. We have just talked He's about. He's the one who said. We keep have just talked like about the bill here. They can arrest us. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please. <laughs> you can be tight like bums. Ah, ah. It was a metaphor. Hey, please. Men and bums. <laughs> I'm not in that game. Good okay. Time. We have been here cheering the likes of Kiplimo and who? Tebtegi. We have been here cheering Tumukunde Hana. Mm-hmm. He had its Miss Uganda in the last 15 years. <laughs> Let us cheers to. The Nalubale Dawa vaccine, which never came, and now they are saying it's going to take how long? Fifteen, 15 years. years, and yet they promised it by the end of twenty twenty one. Please, let's cheers to that. What's what's there to cheer about? Come on, guys. Okay, let me know. Oh my gosh! Oh, no, what's there to cheer? I mean, I'm going to cheer, but I want to know what's there to cheer about. I'm being ironic. I'm being I'm being sarcastic. Sarcastic. No, me I'll cheers because they finally come out and told us the truth. Because, you know, before, and I'm sorry to say this, we were talking out of our ass. We were competing with countries that are leagues ahead of us, and we think that we'll develop a vaccine just as fast as they did. But was it the fault of the president to announce it, or was it the fault that he was lied to by scientists who were saying that Uganda is going to have a COVID-19 vaccine by the end of 2021? It was the scientist's fault, because even when he announced, he said, according to what I have been told, he did not say, I am developing it. He said, according to what I have been told, we will have a vaccine by the end of 2021. So these scientists who, like I said, were talking out of their ass and saying that we're going to develop it in, what, two years? Do you, do you remember I that guy, the former, what the, about. the former speaker brought, the first guy at the beginning of COVID? The Indian chap. The guy with the beard. Yes. Yeah. Like so. <laughs> yes. Yes. The guy said that they can very just to sanitizer. Hmm. Bastard. But you see... Even the rats that were brought in for an expensive amount of money. You remember those rats? Do you guys remember those six rats? I think each rat cost like a hundred million. Okay, it wasn't that much, but it was a, an absurd amount of money. Then even Terence Howard, who came and said that he was going to create what? A city that runs on water or some stuff like that. The molecules in water. <laughs> oh, that, Uganda. That guy had taken Kamocha weed. <laughs> Kamocha weed. <laughs> but you know, what I don't understand is, the likes of the Oxford who have done all these research and they're mm. way ahead of us. And we think, I mean, it's good to aspire. Mm -hmm. It's good to aspire and say, listen, we're going to have our own vaccine. But money was spent, money was given. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result of all of those lies, money was wasted. No, was it wasted? It was wasted because we still don't have a vaccine and we're 15 years away from getting one. So, but are we going to spend more money? Yes, but In now these more years? informed spending because dr sheila balinda who is the principal investigator in all of this actually made a trip to um the university of oxford in the uk and she found out that eh, these guys to be able to develop the covid vaccine this fast already had vaccine products already there you get what i mean like there was already a level of development made so by the time COVID came, they were just tweaking and adjusting, but it was already there. They were not starting at zero. So, mm. so, and that's why they're so far ahead of us. And she went so far as to say, they have left us 25 years behind. We're playing catch up. So here's, here's the million dollar question. How do we find, and, and I'm, I'm, I don't think any of us here has the answer, but just for conversation's sake, how do we make sure that we safeguard people from lying to his excellency for him to make he, him look because he is not the scientist yes he says i have been told that this is what we are going to do mm. and therefore we shall he delegates him. yeah and, and then then the guys give him feedback and then they make him look like a like a fool but the question is how do we 
akasengeja between arabi na batuf let there be repercussions for you telling the guy bullshit for everyone who feels like you can get audience with the president and you're going to tell him nonsense let there be repercussions if your nonsense does not come through i agree with you Either Anne imprisonment Marie, or a fine or so something. So by the time you step in front of him. You know what you were talking about. You have fact checked it, double checked it, tested it. There's so many layers of and verification yes, before yes, you get yes, to the yes. guy and, and say And by the time you get there, you're right. And should it be wrong, you can say, but according to this, then this. Because mistakes happen. Mm. Yes. Mm. Let's, not take, let's not negate yes. that. Mistakes happen and you should not be faulted for mistakes. I had miscalculated and a few mistakes. things. Yes, yes, yes. But 15, 20 years behind, when you said the thing will be there in 2021, that's not a mistake. Mm -hmm. That is a poo poo. Mm, that's a real thug. That's a liar and a thief. So the next thief. time Econ comes and he says he's going to develop a city, the next time Terence Howard comes, the next time Kanye West comes and gives him a pair of shoes, <laughs> the next time someone comes and they're selling sanitizer. But you can imagine, you should have to understand, put yourself into some people's shoes. They're like, you, have, you finally have audience with his excellence. Uh -huh. hmm? And it's your one shot you have to hopefully change your life. Uh -huh. Sometimes you will sell air. But then you yes you could it's change your life. Yes. And, and, yeah, eh? You could change your life, eh? but your life could also end up behind bars. Please be aware of that. Yeah. Before you, you start talking. But to the my guy. point is, some some people say it's worth the risk. Again, remember it's how well I, I can sell you bullshit. Bullshit seller. Yeah. There are people who are really good at selling rubbish, and you have finally got an audience with the guy. Tell the guy, my guy, I got you. I'm going to make you look so hard. Here's how. Mandas. But do you think also maybe our president is a bit too accessible? Which is a good thing and a bad thing. I, like, don't, I don't think so. Actually. By the time you he's, get audience he's, he's with... Not. Let me I say, oh, you try and get audience with Biden, maybe. Actually, Biden might Biden, Biden be easier to get access to. Really? Okay. Our guy, no, our guy no, is okay. a hard. Our guy is hard. Our guy is hard. Our guy is hard. Who here, by the way, still has or uses COVIDX? It's somewhere in the house. I don't use it, but I know it's somewhere in the house. Answer both questions. Has and uses. You use COVID still? Just good morning. In, in the, the nose, in the, in the, in the in throat. In the nose, am I mad? But that's how it's intended uh, to be. Six, both, either <laughs> or. <laughs> when you are sick, put in the nose. Otherwise, for every day, good morning. Mouth. You sure. put COVID in your mouth every morning? Not every, but at least twice, thrice a week. I have it. And because, you know, it also expires, by the way. But yes, I have it. it does. Uh, so you have to make sure you use it within the window that is still, you know. I use it as preventive now. Is that what so? do you do? What are you preventing? Tomanya, I am with Gaetano. Do you know where he goes? Hey, Gaetano comes and then we laugh and then he spits on me. Oh, I... You know, the drunkards, <laughs> where are you going? They're a danger to themselves. Stay at home. They speak with saliva coming out of their mouths. Hey, impossible to control. So I manage my brother okay. by COVID-19. Uh, anyway, having said that, <laughs> let us drink to the, the Ugandan. What is it called? What is it called? No, I'm nervous. No, I'm nervous. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm nervous. <laughs> No, and, so uh, but 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 uh, do we say do we do we, we say a prayer? We say it's a moment of silence. We let's pray, let's pray, let us pray. What are we praying for? Okay, I'm going to say the prayer. Please do the prayer. Yeah, Two. Heavenly Father, we pray for safety in four African countries: uh, Kenya, S South Africa, Nigeria. What was the other one? Tunisia. Tunisia. And Senegal. And Senegal. That, in Senegal that the people who are rioting may remain safe and no lives lost. Amen. 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 Then we drink. No, we don't drink. No, 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 no. We can't just, we have to, we, the prayer is because they are, why are they rioting? They all rioted on the same day, that 20th of March, 2023. It was, orchest was, was orchestrated, all of them called I, each other? I don't know. Or it was know. coincidental? I, I, it can't be coincidental. That Maybe somebody heard be. about somebody. Four countries. Four countries that are going. <laughs> These guys are like, when is Ese kicking off? So Malema oh, spoke to uh, Odinga, spoke to, I don't know who the hell is leading the ones in, in the other Tunisia. countries. <laughs> Tunisia. Ahmed Hoshan Drabin. They're like, two. 
<laughs> I'm going to start using COVID X for you too. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know the other guys, but I know that Malema and Odinga led those two. Now, I know that in Tunisia, it was about power grabbing. They see the guy grab power. He's elected illegally. He, it was basically like the usual business in Africa yeah. when it comes to elections. In Even South Arabs are like that. Anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah in yeah. South Africa, uh, spring. Uh, it had to do, again, with the economy. High cost of living. But theirs is power, mostly. But then when power's cost... Yeah, but they has put up the cost of living. So yes, yes. it's put up the cost of living. Kenya is cost of living, 100%. Yes. Basically, it comes down to the economies of all of these different countries. And from my understanding, why the populace decided that they're going to go and, and, and have a peaceful demonstration was... Quote, quote unquote. Quote, unquote. It's not so much the fact that there is an economic downturn. Yes, we, we get it. There is an economic downturn, but what are you as government, what are you as the leaders doing about it? Because you continue to live in your fat houses, drive your fat cars. Do you understand what I'm saying? You continue to live a very lavish lifestyle on the taxpayers' money, and then you tell us, the citizens, the wanainchi, to tighten our belts while you continue as if nothing has changed for you. And that, as I, that I think, is what... They, it's almost like you, you tell us these things as you give us the finger. And I think that's why a lot of countries are saying, oh, these countries are protesting and having these peaceful protests. Correct me if I'm wrong. Peaceful protests, but 87 people were arrested in South Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah, 87. Oh, there's always going to be people who are going to be arrested. There's, going to be hood, there's always going to be hoodlums within a group to escalate things. But the point is... They are sick and tired of the situation, and yet you sit there, even here in Uganda, by the way, they sit there living the life. The economy of Uganda has gone to shite. What are you doing here's, about it? We still have a very huge parliament. Here's my question. Here's my yeah, question. Yeah, parliament is yes. I, I, agree, I, agree, I agree with you 100%, but here's my question. Here's where in the world, minus Indonesia, Liberia, those are the ones that come to mind, mm -hmm. where an economic downturn has a immediate impact on the livelihood of the powers that be. Where in the world? And please use all the country countries you want: mm. America downturn, mm. Brexit. What? Name it. Yeah, but what again, Marcus? What are you doing? My point is: what are you doing? My we understand is, is downtown everywhere. We get my it. Point, no, 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 no. You're not getting my point. My point is: for you to think that. The leaders that you chose will choose to incumbent themselves to solve the economic problem. But that's why you were put there. Yes. That's why you were elected. That's, the that's why I voted for you. That is why I elected you. Okay. So that you can make life easier for everybody. Or at least show. But when you drive there, you don't change your lifestyle. You're still eating lavish. What's the first, what's the first thing I said? I said? The first thing I said was, I agree with you. But you obviously don't. No, no, no. I agree with you in the principality of your statement. But the reality is, globally, it's not privy to Kenya, South Africa, Uganda, wherever. Pick a country of your choice. The reality is, it's never going to happen. Politicians are selfish. Get it, understand it, move on. So, so I what should- What can we do about it? Manage self. Man itself. Yes. So I accept that I'm going to be screwed by the people I vote. Come and buy anybody, whoever I put so in. So the level of screwing is what matters. The level of the hard one. Yeah. One, one Aggravated one homosexuality or just kawaii homosexuality? <laughs> the level is what matters, but it's going to happen. Kiris are gonna. So we vote the guy with lube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> vote the guy with lube. With vaso. So it doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. At least. <laughs> You're not crying. <laughs> And, and the day you guys understand this is the day you will stop fighting and so, being angry. So now what do we do? Do we all become politicians? No, so I'm saying, okay, guy, yeah, you can be, if you want to be the change you want to do, it, become a politician. Okay. It's not worth But the politics, the, the science of politics is supposed to be servant leader. Yes. Supposed to be. But what it really is, Marcus, is another mother is issue. Is itself itself. It is animal farm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I put you there because I think you're going to help me. But all you're going to do is feed yourself and be, become that fat. Be very. And again, what I'm trying to tell people, and this is what people don't understand, is that it is not privy. It is not. It is not for Uganda, for Kenya, for.
for South Africa, All for of Nigeria, us are suffering. everybody. And what's sad is that those people who you think you look up to, America, Britain, what, 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 they're suffering worse than you. They just don't make as much publicize money. it. But they also. Okay, and for them, okay, they are okay. more. They are more. So somebody like I'm, okay, I'm okay, hold on. So somebody like Julius Malema, Economic Freedom Front. Oh, somebody like. Oh, you're more Hold on. Somebody I like. Uh, somebody, uh, like uh, somebody like. Somebody like Raila Odinga. Who, who has said we're going to have demonstrations Mondays. Then due to popular demand, we shall have them also every <laughs> Thursday. So twice a week. Wait, for how long? And you long? tell me this is not economical? How long? Uh, until things change, according to them. For you to wake up and say, yeah, Monday? I okay, okay, but like into that shock mm. to me. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Those, South, those Kenyans mm. are a bit special. Mm. Uh, they, <laughs> they, mm. the people mm. uh, found a way mm. to outrun the cops. To outrun the cops? Yeah, please. Outpower <laughs> the cops. Outpower the cops. Allah. How? Can't <laughs> video. Can't video. Kenya doesn't have Chiboko squad. Ah, they but, do. They but, do. But they were beating guys in, in Kenya. The guys were there were riots back and forth. In, in South Africa, the police were talking to the peaceful demonstrators. You can go here. You can do this. You but see the police that they send. Like a group is so tiny. Mm. Now look at the crowd. Now watch. Where was this in Kenya? Mm. In uh, where in Kisumu? Are they what? throwing stones? Are yeah, they are throwing stones. stones. Hey, the police ran away. They were overpowered. Mama. The police were overpowered. Mama. Yeah. Mama. Mama. Wow. But they sent a small squad. They also there, sent really. a small they squad. They sent yeah. a very small mm. squad. And but you see, they were smart to have figured it out and said, "Omani, looking here and looking the way we are, yes, we will not manage. Yes, won't manage." And the alternative is live bullets. You're talking about which will then call international attention because violation of human rights and. Da, but da, 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 again, da. My, the question to you is: Is this peaceful? Imagine if that was here in Uganda. First of all, as guys, and you know why Kenyan, you know why Ugandans won't uh, demonstrate straight like that despite the hardships that they're enduring we have food mm. we have food uganda is the food basket of east africa of east and central actually east and central there's rain there is food i can eat can so my i will not come out as much because i can eat these guys are actually hungry they're starving guys are, they're, they're, guys are, they're, they're doing bad yes, that's why that's what i think but did you but also here we shall give Say the Chiboko, you will receive my guy. That's why I'm saying they don't have Chiboko squad. First of all, a Chiboko squad is plain clothes. So you're making noise. You don't know that the guy next, next to, to you is going to close you. Chifalo. This is a button of the three one. Friday. So you kick off, the guy is walking with you when you start chaos. <laughs> you showed me a video. You showed us a video, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video in South Africa? Mm -mm. When the demo so overpowered police. No, no. For them, you know, they sing. Mm. That mm. is a way of demonstrating to yes. get their message across. They do a lot of singing and to, dancing. And dancing. And... Ever since apartheid mm -hmm. days. It's a way mm -hmm. of kicked off in apartheid. Yes. And it continues to the now they were singing against Cyril Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa. Mm -hmm. But the song and the words is what killed me. You check this out. Yeah. Oh, Moby? Wow. That was a big hit. I mean, I'll say you sing the first belly. Have you seen? <laughs> you are you pressing pause? I've seen the fight, small penis. Look. Look at this. How it's here? Oh, Moby. You said Cyril or Moby? He has a small nose. Mm. Was it a big, big nose? Big nose, big head. Big, big belly. Big belly. And the small sister. How would they know? How would they know? How would they know? Yes. Maybe some have. Maybe one of them has been there. Meanwhile, one of the ladies is also singing about a big stomach. My sister. <laughs> <laughs> My sister. What calling Keto? <laughs> but you know the, 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 the in all of this you find humor, mm. even well. though it is very serious. Yeah. But the other ones who voted in there. See, this is what I don't understand. See, the serial that they voted and the serial that they got, that, that disconnect is what's making them 
take to the streets this way. Well, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so you don't, know, you don't know what you have till you get it. Yeah. So, so, so as that is happening in, uh, and this is why I said that sometimes you must understand that. Ruto Kawant had said that uh, if you're going to demonstrate, make sure you don't inconvenience other people. Hmm? Do you? Don't bother anyone else. Not at the expense of others. So basically, don't, don't loot. Yeah, don't, don't loot. Hurt don't, don't, don't injure people's businesses, mm. which is almost impossible. Because on that Monday when they started the 20th, mm. all corporates told their companies, work from home. Yes. So automatically, business has been hindered. In fact, uh, the deputy president came out and said that I think they, in that one day, they lost 2 billion Kenya shillings. Yes. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. The vice president, the deputy president came out and said it. That they lost 2 billion in one day. Rigiji. Rigiji. As I call him. Mm. So Rigiji came and said 2 billion lost in one day. So I, we need to be serious about this, these demonstrations. It's, it's an economic issue. Yes. That is why in Uganda, we bought trucks. That's what I was about to say. My Ugandans <laughs> who feel like you have issues and you want to take to the streets. These guys have just trucks. acquired these tanks. <laughs> they have just acquired new <laughs> tanks. Me know, apparently they were not acquired recently. Mbo, they bought them before COVID. Before COVID. See when you Mbo. 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 And they've just come through and they're saying police <laughs> is gearing up to serve you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey. Mm. Like this, a nigga, I dare you. Pardon my French, but Look fuck around and find out. But these are not, these are armored tanks. Yeah, 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 please. Oh, please. Yeah. yeah. They are massive, they yeah. are solid. Yeah, yeah. You are not going to disrupt business. <laughs> fuck around and find out. You are not going to disrupt business in what, your what, 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 what were they, because I remember they were released not too long ago. There was even a whole press conference about it. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, what's his name? Katsigazi? Mm. Who talks very slowly but very menacingly? You know that father that talks calmly before he backhands you into last week. Mm. <laughs> I say, you know, the police is gearing up to serve you better. <laughs> we acquired these tanks a while ago, but they were delayed by COVID. But they're here now mm. to serve us. To mm. serve you. Yeah, 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 please. And to the you, by the way, they're talking about is you who is working. You will strike. But you who is working, selling your towing mantles by the roadside, I should not, not be convinced by whatever your plans are. So the serving is the tomato seller. But they also said that they are sending them to combat centers. Eh. So we are the... We are the so we basically are... they are going to stay in Kamot. <laughs> <laughs> so combating who? Ask the civilians. Both, it's, it's own people. Both foreign yeah. and domestic yeah. threats. Please. You have heard what the Americans say mm. when you are swearing to be a soldier. Yes. I swear to you. Defend the constitution of the United States against all, all enemies, foreign and domestic. So these things are bought for. So Please. as much as we're protecting Gaetano today, mm. Gaetano, act stupid tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we're protecting Uganda yeah. from you. you. Have you seen how many of those things? But it, there's it, some white ones, there's some blue, blue ones, they're yeah. big. It, they're uh, big. Uh, guys. Like, I dare you, nigga. I dare you. Actually, they're itching to use oh, them. Oh, yeah, please. Because now we must use we them. We won't use them. Yeah, like, I'm even going to make the way. Just do something. Because now the thing is going to get packed. I must use it. It'll rust. It'll rust. And then... You have to warm it up. won't over. be a worthwhile investment. Yes. And then do, like, I don't know, like, morning drills, where they just drive through the city. Like, at yeah. six. I told you, just parambulate. Then the water comes out. out. Yes. Let's go, 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 go on Tinder, come Kamocha, go around. <laughs> Leave Kamocha alone. <laughs> what is your problem? But guys, go around, come back. So at the same time that we had these armored vehicles being set, set loose, mm. so to speak, to serve us, the people of Uganda, mm -hmm. to protect us. Mm. And also to protect us from us. Mm. And protect us from ourselves. Mm. Rotary, uh, which is very kind of the Rotary Club, has donated a whole bunch of ambulance motorcycles. You know those big, those... Ambulances. Ambulances. I mean, okay, they are, but it's for the... What can it do? It can transport you from A to B in a tight situation through traffic. Yeah, I mean, these... Can these, it? These, 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 these are the... That car took to can't, can't climb a pavement. You will they're not, die. They're not so bad. I mean, you know... They, you it can, can it cut through traffic? No! It'll be stuck with you in traffic? Yes! I mean, take a look at them. They're not, you know, they are... I can probably run faster than that thing. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm saying. My point is this. You have Gava unleashing tanks, 
And you have the Rotary Club saying, as we're going to give something back because of maternal health and ambulances to help. Well, the priority. Definitely the right intention. Execution was... Wanting. Anti-budget issues. So you could take the money from those ambulances and just go and buy mama kits and take them to hospitals. Or you go to like Mulago and all of the National Referral Hospitals and pay off people's bills. The people who are stuck in the hospital, tell them all of you, you can go home. There is so much that we can do other than buying these tuk-tuks. You know, the other day I saw one stuck in traffic. The tuk-tuk. With the karate on. In jam. But <laughs> you, you felt like picking it up. <laughs> the patient in there for sure is no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> You feel like we, so Does it have But let me ask you a question, guy. And I'm going to play devil's advocate here, guy. And I know you 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 and I have fought this fight many times before. Two four four days ago I'd, 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 I hosted some Kenyan friends of mine and they were they were here for like the third, fourth time, and it's like so one guy who lives here, Kenyan who lives here, was telling them. Not Marcus telling them, a Kenyan who lives here telling them. He has been here eight months telling the Kenyans. And they said, how is it in Uganda? The Kenyans asked him, how mm -hmm. do you find Uganda? He, tells, he told them three things about this country. Number one, the people are much better than us. They are warm, they are kind, they are friendly, they are receiving. Number two, the food is amazing. Number three, and most importantly, is I feel safe. I don't walk anywhere in this town looking over my shoulder, irrespective of the time. Is Uganda, does it have thugs? Of course. Yeah. Like any country. No but one. comparatively. But in comparison to Kenya, I feel safe. So now, is spending on safety not a priority to maintain said safety? I think <laughs> the tankers are going to maintain the safety. Among other things. Like, there's like, something. Like, you want to start trouble? Nigga, I dare you. But the tanker is not going to be against one member of Chifesi. Yeah, but you see, if Chifesi tomorrow decide eh, that we are going to put up a protest or start back, that's what I'm saying. The thugs are there. Don't yes. make me wrong. Chifesi is there. They'll go, they'll steal a phone, they'll break into your house. That's theirs. Global. Mm -hmm. But if you decide that we want to now take it to the next level and cause genuine instability, <laughs> Nigga, please. But you see, Marcus, you're you're slanting the whole conversation to suit what you're trying to put across. Of course, security as any argument would as be. As any argument would be. Mm -hmm. Of course, security is important. Absolutely, with security you can do so many things. But so is health. Hmm. How can you secure a nation that's unhealthy? Well, how can you secure a nation that's uneducated? That is twenty-five years behind in a COVID vaccine. Do you understand, Marcus? Oh, yeah, so we're, we're, the, we're the only African country that's trying to do an awful COVID vaccine. Are you sure? Yes. Tell me oh, another one. No, they're there. We, we just, don't know. They might be trying there. in silence. Again, at least us, we are saying something about them. We are trying. Netways was a new. But now Ugandans learn how to shut up. Stop talking about everything that is wrong. I agree with Stop you. Stop talking about all of the diseases that we have. Do you know the diseases now, that are in the States? And now we have, Thank you. And now we have Mabag at the border. Be quiet. From Tanzania. From Tanzania. Why can't we just shut up? Shut up. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anne. Shut up. Let us know. Yeah, all the time, by the way. Hey, a... But Marcus, then we Cheptege wins and we're quiet. No, we it, is, this it is the job of, of what? A citizen to point out things that are wrong. That is why it's not my sole existence, but it's part of why I'm here. But why no. is it all that we're no. talking about? I will about talk about the good things, and we do. No, we don't. We just talked about all the things that are good. We in, did. In, yeah. The last round did. But did any like news outlets talk of about it? Of course they do. Did That's they where we get it from account? as well. Not Come always. On. Not in equal measure. Stupid, stupid. Not, not in equal measure. Yes. Stupid woman. Not in equal measure. The thing is, the things that... I am not going to applaud you for the things you should do. No. Because you should do them. Yes. Uh, but I'm going to reprimand you for the things that you don't do because you're not doing them, Marcus. I agree. Come on now. And that part I agree. I agree. Don't applaud me as a father for paying school fees. It's your job. But if I'm going to move you from school A to school B, applaud me for that. Applaud yourself. Shout about it as well. Yeah, but you see, if you, you want to talk about how the other guy, a... Uh, Susu's on bed, and that's what you want to shout. The dead neighbor of mine, he Susu's on bed, can you imagine? But, okay, after Susu's on, Susu on bed, he goes, his children are in Ivy League, so he, 
the, 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 the positives for any country. For Alonga. any country. And this is what the Western world has understood. What? Ah! Let me finish. The Western world has understood that everybody has dirty linen. Why we have feel the need to the need parts. for us to air the dirty linen over whatever little progress. The one person in the world, Africa who has understood this is Paul Kagame. You think Rwanda has problems? It does. You think they don't Will have you diseases? Ever hear it? You and think because, for them because, they haven't had mabag? You think they've never had Ebola? But they have all of these. Did things. you know how many COVID cases they had? Yes, we did. Not a hell, you did uh, anyway. not. Uganda, we are our own worst enemy. That's more of my story. Can we stop? Like, yes, if you're going to talk about the, what diseases plague us, let us have a Kiplimo day. Let us have a Kiplimo parade. Let us have a Cheptege parade. Let us celebrate everything it is that we did. The noise that you people made, you even started an Instagram page for the potholes in Kampala. You also started an Instagram page of the progress that made on the roads of Kampala. Stop, stop. No, there are the roads outside the Kampala. Uh-huh. Let them do like, I don't know, a drone shot of all of those beautiful roads and all of those beautiful sceneries and make it a full Instagram page of just that. You know, Thank you, Anne. Uh, today, I want to buy you a drink. Can I talk? I want to buy you. A... Yeah, fine. May talk. I talk? I don't think. Oh, you've shut the conversation I down. I don't think it'll add substance, but talk. Oh no, 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 no. Of course, it's going to add substance. May I talk? Because you guys have ganged up against me. You've decided. <laughs> We're that... ganging up against people talking about everything. That's I, is that wrong where you fall? And never. Do you fall talk among those people? Anything that's I right. fall amongst the people who's going to talk on both sides. I'll I talk about the good. Inequal measure. measure. I'll talk about the bad, and I'll in... talk about the, ig- the ugly. Yeah, in inequal measure. Depending on what you've done. Depending yeah. on what you've done. Yes. Magnitude. Yes. Given. given. Mm-hmm. Like oh, she has said, Kampala is a problem on our roads. The rest of the country is doing well. I live in Kampala, but, so I make noise about Kampala. Yes. But yes. You travel to Kalungu 9. I will talk next. Tamak. When I'm on Kalungu 9, I'll talk about Kalungu 9 and but say, wow, it's wonderful. About Kalungu 9. <laughs> because yeah. I'm there often. <laughs> okay, so go to Kalungu 9. Yeah, go and live in And say some nice things. How much is government paying you guys, by the way? (laughs) Nothing. I just actually really love my country. I love my country too. Mm -hmm. I wear the black, the yellow, and the red. I wear the East African community on my wrist. I love this country. Don't break the tables of the country. Ouch, it even hurts. <laughs> but I've got to go. Listen, that must have hurt. It really did. Okay, anyway, make sure you catch uh, uh, the last round every single week. And we are here at Shishanyama Village, of course. A big thanks to Ray City UG, of course, making this very wonderful. And of course, to Globe Tech as well for, uh, of course, all the cameramen and the crew over here to make it possible. Make sure you watch it. All right, click on that page that Marcus is going to tell you about. It's the last round, Uganda, on YouTube. Every week, we applaud a new single, uh, what's it called, episode? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A series? Yeah. Show. <laughs> Rzungu, zibo. Episode Yo. was actually correct. The episode was good. Eh? Yeah. yeah, every single week, we upload a new episode. And uh, it's the last round, Uganda, full words. However, on socials, it's the last round, UG. And there, you'll get the updates behind the scenes. Gaetano doing things. So the other day, Gaetano went to the bathroom and forgot his microphone on. Again. We have that audio. Maybe you keep quiet about that. It will be on our socials. Marcus, can you tell us about other things? A big shout out, of course. <laughs> and <laughs> Tasca Malt Lager, of course, <laughs> helping us to enjoy the enjoyments of frothy waters. And until next week. Always drink responsibly. <laughs> we have that audio. We even we even TikTok. We even TikTok. Love your country. I love my country. Love mm. Your mm. You, you black, yellow, red. Where's your black, yellow, red? That's black. I'm yellow. Uh, and don't. I have a red pant. <laughs> well done. <laughs> You know the way I don't trust you, I thought you were, you were going to say. Yeah. Every once in a month, hey. it's red. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't trust you. Don't red to me. You don't, don't trust you, I thought you were going to say. Every once in a month, hey. what are you red? red. No. red. No. That's red. <laughs>
I don't know how else to tell you this story, mm. except to just play it for you. Play us what? Years ago, she was rushed into hospital with a migraine, which left her with a voice she didn't recognize. I have not actually heard my voice in the conversation for nearly three years now. Her initial response upon hearing how she used to sound from a bank telephone recording was to long for her old accent to return. Yeah, I'm not actually wondering about my phone number, I'm looking for a quote. Do you still want my number? I know it's a me. I feel like I want to say, oh, she, she make a good speak, she speak a good, uh, but like that, not me no more. There's one picture you can see what you can Sarah has been diagnosed with foreign accent syndrome. No! <laughs> 150 known cases worldwide. 150? Foreign accent syndrome. Foreign accent syndrome. F A S. Fas. She spoke English with a British accent. And then? After a brain tumor. A stroke. A stroke. I don't speak like that no more. I thought I talk like a plant. Wow. Ojakula and I in that chapter again. That will be your stroke. By Imagine, the way. Marcus, you go from your local accent and you start speaking French accent. You live with your local accent here, and then you have something happen to you, you get foreign accent syndrome. Then you wake up in more. Can morning. you choose the accent though? Hmm? Can you choose the accent? Can what you would you choose to sound like? French. French. How would you sound? I don't know. <laughs> I've never mastered the French accent, but I really want to. I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Marcus. I am here mm. with uh, my friend Anne-Marie and Gaetano, but they call him Gaetan. <laughs> Je t'aime. No, How no, are you? I love no, you. No, 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 no. <laughs> when does I like to kiss you? Uh, All the time. Uh -huh. How are you? For the pleasure. Uh -huh. Vous j'ai fou que je vous avoue, je vous. Vous voulez vous coucher avec moi? C'est soi. I need new friends.